Okay, questions for Ty Ty, go ahead and raise your hand. John Hale, you got first. Ty Ty, I don't know that any of us saw that coming from Damian tonight, but what have you seen from him in practice recently that maybe suggest he was he had that in him? Uh, you know, so everybody here in the whole program knows what Damian can do. We all know he's 6'10 with a 45 inch vertical. Just throw the ball up high as you can, he'll catch it. So, you know, just leading up to this point, we all knew what he could do. Uh, he's been spending extra gym, uh, extra hours in the gym. Every time I go in the late nights, he's always sitting there. So I knew that this day was going to come. Uh, he just got his opportunity to play, and he didn't power nothing. Just went out there and played. And that's what it showed tonight. He showed his athleticism on both sides of the ball. So it was just like he was kind of overdue for this to happen, and it just finally happened for him. Jerry? Yeah, I guess uh, – I hope I can ask too, Tim. Uh, Ty, Ty, what I guess it's obvious, but what kind of a boost did the Damien give you guys tonight? I know you got off to a slow start. How, how much do you think he helped turn the game around? Uh, he helped a lot, you know. Uh, you know, he just came in, he made his presence felt on defense and then on offense. You know, uh, Coach Cal was just realizing that uh, the big was stepping up, so we had him. We just throw it up around the rim. We know he's gonna dunk it, and you know, us getting dunks and blocks and stuff that just builds a whole momentum for us, you know. We didn't have a huge crowd here, but like we know our bench, once we get a dunk or something, they're gonna go crazy and you start screaming. So that just gives us a lot of energy and motivation, you know, a lot of momentum for us. And I wondered what the key was to defending uh, Shackelford and Quinnery. They had been really productive players and uh, couldn't put the ball in the basket. How'd you guys do that? Uh, well, yeah, we knew coming in that they were gonna dance with the ball and stuff like that. You know, they just beat, uh, they beat Baylor. So it was just like coming them coming in that they were going to be trying to be aggressive. And we just really had to run them off the three-point line. We know they like to shoot a lot of threes. So us running them off the three-point line, making them take tough twos, we knew if we could do that and just rebound the ball, we'd be fine. John Clay. That's how, how good did it feel to hit that three? I know you hadn't hit one in a while. And did you feel like your confidence was growing and feeling more comfortable as the game went along? Um, once I just that one go through, um, I'm not going to say I was too happy, but I was just excited, man. You know, like you said, it's been a minute since I actually hit a three. So uh, the coaches and my teammates are telling me, you know, just be aggressive, you know, just keep shooting, make sure you shoot it straight, just keep shooting the ball, kid. But that's what, you know, Cal just kept telling me, just kept telling me to be aggressive one fall, and it just happened to fall, and we just kind of needed it, and I was just happy. Kyle Tucker. Yeah, you've, you've talked about this a little bit, I think, Ty Ty, but um, on nights when Oscar maybe is having a little trouble scoring against against length, um, how encouraging is it to know that somebody like Damian now is able to come in and do what he did? That he, you know, and he, as you said, he's at 6'10 with a 45 inch vertical. So it's, it's hard for anybody to be much longer uh, or for him to have much trouble getting up over those guys. Uh, with him, um, so if Oscar's not having a, you know, a really good night, like we all know he can, uh, we can always go to Lance or Damian now. So we're just like, you know, with Lance, he's going to be physical. He's very smart with the ball in his hands. So we could play through Lance. You know, he could find and create uh, shots for everybody. And with Damian, you know, just sticking by the rim. And worst case, just throw it as high as you can. And he's going to either catch it, get fouled, dunk it, or come down and lay it up. So it was just like, you know, now we have different ways we can you know, utilize our big men. You know, we got one dominant force. And then we got a smart one with the IQ, and then we got a tall, lanky kid who can jump. So it's just like you really don't know what you're going to uh, – how to guard all three of those. So it's just like with Damian being in the game, in today's game, it just showed like once we got to the lane, once we got to step on our defender, his man help, you can just throw it up and he's going to catch it. Larry Vaught. Ty, Ty, kind of tell me what it says about this team, that you go on the road and you have five guys in double figures and you just kind of grind out a win that ends up looking pretty easy. Does this just add to your guys' confidence more or is it because you're so confident that's why you can do this? Uh, it's a little bit of both. You know, uh, ever since, like, that Kansas game, you know, our preparation and stuff, we've just been dialed in, locked in, you know, we know – um, we just know at the end of the day, we got to come out and give everybody our best fight because at the end of the day, you know, they're going to come out trying to go crazy and stuff just because who they're playing against. I mean, every team we play, they're going to try to give us their best shot. So that's just, you know, being very confident heading into the game. And then once we're in the game, you know, we're not playing to lose, we're playing to win the game. So it's just like keeping them staying confident. We know basketball is a game of runs. So once they make their run, it's important for us to just stay together and fight through adversity and pull through. 
Okay, we got to let Ty Ty go so we can get Coach Cal in here. Ty Ty, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys.